Good. Yay, ready to go? There we are. to launch the kites and go out and play. Whoa, birds attacking. I'm just gonna zigzag a little on the beach. I had two lessons with uh, Michael and uh, <laughs> it was quite the fast progress, I guess. The first lesson he just ex explained me the body drag and the board drag and then he was like, okay, get on the board. And I was like, yay. And then I kited five meters and yesterday I had another hour and I kited 15 meters and today it's kind of wild. Manu, what's your goal for today? We're going to go to the same place and then I want to go to the wind. Yay! <laughs> Manu is a beginner as well and she just did um, like three Two hour um, courses with a with a teacher in Curaçao, and uh, she's advancing like super fast. She's already like running upwind, and uh, she managed yesterday to go back to the beach where she started. So that's super good. Pump it up, baby! <laughs> These lines you use for steering later on with your bar and then in the middle you have the power lines so you have four lines in total two steering lines on the sides and then two power lines in the middle steering power lines steering line and this is your bar which you use for steering by moving it twisting it like this or like that and then with this guy you can take power into the kite. So the further down you move this bar, the more power the kite gets. And this is how you attach it to your body. You launch the kite 90 degrees to the wind. So Manu's gonna be on that side, the kite's gonna be here, and then it goes up straight. <laughs> Safety leash. Yep. Chicken loop. Chicken stick. Chicken stick. Good. Yay, ready to go? There we are.
for kite surfing in Los Aves Sotavento are really, really good. And I managed to stand on the board for a couple of seconds, but most of the time I was dragging my butt through the water. With a perfect body drag. We're on our way from Solavento, Los Aves, Venezuela, to Los Roques, which is also Venezuela. Sea state is pretty good too. Um, one unfortunate thing is that one of the membranes of the water maker is leaking, so that's not so cool. There's a problem with the head that happened on the last trip, so we can only use the head on one uh, <laughs> on one tack but that's not too bad either. Marilyn is doing five, five and a half knots. We're sailing the second uh, reef in the main. The mast is insane. The mast is 28 meters high, so I think Michelle hardly ever runs the boat with a full main up because it's insanely big. And we're running with the cutter jib and like with the inner jib, everything is going well. Happy sailing. Die Bilge ist knochentrocken. Ist das super? Ich habe so eine Angst gehabt, da reinzugucken. Ja, ich habe mich vier Stunden lang gedrückt. Ich dachte, da wäre wieder so viel Wasser drin und so. Nee, kann Knoch ja nicht. Das Klo ist ja jetzt repariert. Der, der Generator ist Knochen repariert. Knochen trocken. Hey! hey. <lacht> This is uh, Sotavento, Las Aves, and we sailed all the way up here. And instead of doing these tacks, we could actually do this tack because the wind had changed a little bit from east to more north northeasterly. And then we arrived yesterday at two o'clock here in Cayo Agua. And today we're motoring for the first time because. Uh, 12 miles going to Francisci, but it would have been like 40 miles tacking and everybody was a little tired so we're just motoring around here. And also another reason why we're motoring is because we spent the whole morning in the engine room fixing the water maker and Misha fixed the toilet, the head, and um, 
we really need some water so we need some power anyway so we're motoring for two hours it's the first time that we're motoring we're, we tacked all the way over here so we actually did do a lot of sailing and we just want to have a nice dinner tonight and eat our toonie when we get there and have a bottle of wine and just enjoy and yep so we're doing six knots right now and we're gonna be there in like half an hour Machen uns unsere Logbuchfee. <lacht> We dropped our hook in Francisco Los Roques, Venezuela, where we met some old sailing friends of Michael who came over to share our lovely freshly caught tuna with us. Tomorrow we have to clear into Venezuela and check out the new kitesurfing spot. But more about that next week. Yeah.